All right, this is Hilka with ESSA. Uh, and this is our second installment of Art Talks at ESSA with Niall Gordon, who is, uh, well, I was gonna say uh, oil painter extraordinaire. I'm not sure what people <laughs> what people call you. <laughs> that, that works for me. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> so you've been in this business for a while. You've been painting for how many years? Oh gosh, I lose track. Um, I've never really thought about uh, how long um, uh, painting. Well, professionally, let's see. Um, um, I get. I guess you know it, it didn't like happen professionally all at once. Um, yeah. You know because uh, you know when I I left my corporate job in two thousand four and. Um, and then I actually started a home repair business on the side oh, wow. with a good, a good friend of mine. I left uh, Hallmark. I was there, Hallmark Cards in uh, Kansas City, Missouri, and I was there uh, for 10 years. I had done some other uh, corporate sort of things before that. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, they started downsizing, and the writing was sort of on the wall that um, we all might get cut someday. And so I actually got, got out of there while the getting was good. Wow. and um decided to uh, head on out on my own and um so yeah when i left there um i had a good friend um his name was or is uh tom nelson and he was a very kind of handy guy he was a much much more um knew a lot more about like uh uh you know plumbing and, and electrical and <laughs> things like that but we were both sort of in construction somewhat and remodeling a little bit and so we did that on the side while our art businesses kind of got ramped up so you know uh but i'd say i've been doing this uh pretty solid as far as making my living off of it for i guess a good eight nine years maybe okay solid and, and before then it was sort of kind of part-time and whatnot interesting so did you start out with oil painting immediately or what medium were what medium did you begin in um, I've, you know, I've, I have, I've done all, all mediums for a long time. Um, although I, I didn't touch any oil paint until I was in college. Oh. Uh, I went to art school there in, uh, Warrensburg, Missouri. I got a degree in fine art, um, studio drawing and painting was my degree. And, um, you know, it was a state college, um, yeah. there in Warrensburg, Missouri. Um, it's what I could afford at the time, you know, um. Looking back, kind of wish that uh, maybe I would have find, found a way maybe to gone to a, a better art school. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it is kind of what you make it. And, you know, I, I do value my education. I got there. Yeah. Um, and, but, yeah, I, it was the first time I painted oil was there in, you know, in a, in a painting class. But I had mm -hmm. done, you know, watercolor and acrylic before there, uh, before then, uh, maybe gouache and some other mediums. Yeah. Um, started kind of, you know, playing around with a lot of different mediums from a pretty young age. So, uh, so, but yeah, oil, I immediately fell in love with oil painting, uh, because the long drying times and, mm -hmm. uh, you, you have quite a bit, you know, more flexibility with it as far as that goes. Um, so yeah, uh, probably college. And so I've pretty much been pretty faithful to oil ever since, although I, I've, I've taught watercolor class since, mm -hmm. um, I've, I've taken some amazing watercolor uh, workshops from some really talented uh, artists over the years. Probably the most outstanding was a guy named Craig Lewick in Kansas City. In fact, he's still, to my knowledge, is still an illustrator at Hallmark Cards. And he's just an incredibly gifted artist. And, um, and, and another guy named John Richardson, he's uh, now I think switched to oil, but these guys are super talented and um so i've had i've been fortunate to take some, from some really good uh artists from in in other mediums as well yeah. as you know but yeah oil i i it's just to me it's the pinnacle of the of the medium so yeah 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 well you're you're really really good at it so i can i can see why uh and i took a i took a workshop from you which i really enjoyed and i learned a lot uh, so I'm still using some of those techniques today and I'm hoping to learn more from you, you know, awesome. in the coming Look forward years. To it. So tell me, what is your favorite, uh, subject matter to paint? Do you have a favorite? You know, I, 
I really, I really do. I, I, I think that, I think honestly that um, portraits are probably just hold a real near and dear place in my heart. Um, you know, I spent a lot of years, uh, recent years doing uh, plein air competitions mm -hmm. and outdoor doing landscape. You know, when I was a lot younger, I thought landscape, how boring, you know, I just <laughs> never really had any desire to do landscape painting and um tried it you know it was okay and we didn't really concentrate it in, in art school doing much landscape painting mm -hmm. um uh you know and you're in school and you're doing you know you know still life and so i i really enjoyed figurative classes that was my favorite class yeah. in art school was the figure drawing classes um but not so much landscape but when i got into plein air i really really started appreciating appreciating landscape and, um, you know, all the different subjects kind of overlap and kind of inform each other. But um, I would say, you know, I kept going back to uh, portrait and figurative stuff, you know, definitely um, hold my fascination. Um, figurative stuff is, uh, you know, it takes a tremendous amount of study to get really good at figurative work. And I, and I mm -hmm. love that. And, and I will continue to study figurative uh, overall, but uh, there's something very uh, kind of direct uh, and enjoyable about the portraits alone, um, where you're mainly just kind of fo focusing on the face and maybe the shoulders, maybe hands, the torso area. And uh, I've done probably, I figured it up one time, it's over 2,000 portraits. Wow. Um, uh, well, and but that includes quick portraits. Uh, that were done at these like outdoor art fairs where mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I'll set up, uh, you know, I'm showing my landscapes and other works, uh, uh, you know, in the, in the booth. And there was one year that I was, it was, I was in Lee Summit, Missouri, and it was kind of slow. And I decided to uh, uh, put up a sign and I was painting portraits for 25 bucks. Oh my goodness. Uh, for, you know, these little quick 30 minute, you know, portraits yeah. of people. And I was just busy the rest of the weekend doing that. And I just got a big, biggest kick out of it. Uh, I actually tried, when I was still, still a Hallmark, I tried it for the first time. I went down to Blackwater, Missouri, and I charged $10 was the first time I tried that. Um, wow. And I was just curious if, uh, <laughs> if I could actually uh, do it in like 30 minutes, because I figured you have to do it pretty fast or people yeah. would just, you know, little kids and things, they wouldn't have the patience to sit down for very long. And I did 10 portraits that day and they were really god awful that day. But um, I, by the end of the day, I kind of got warmed up and they were a little bit better, but. Um, it's a great uh, way to learn though, don't you think? Yeah, it was fantastic. And uh, it, and, and I hadn't done it until the next year there in Lee Summit and I mm -hmm. charged $25 and uh, I had a blast and I had been painting a lot before that. And, Actually, the portraits turned out pretty, pretty decent. And um, I just, I was hooked by that time. And so okay. every, ever since most outdoor fairs that I had done since then, that was several years ago, I would set up a little portrait kind of area in the corner of my booth, a 10 by 10 booth, and um, kind of off the side a little bit. And so I wouldn't block the traffic from people coming in yeah. the booth. And, um, and I was usually busy. The most I ever did in one day was 14 portraits in one day. And, and I was late at night and my shoulder started hurting me and a guy got upset with me cause I couldn't, he was waiting for a while and I couldn't yeah. paint his portraits, but, uh, I don't do it anymore. Um, it's kind of gets in the way of sales for the other paintings sure. and I'm getting sort of old and I can't hold up it quite as oh, well as I is. used to. It's it's kind of hard on your shoulders for going yeah. hours for hours like that. Yeah. And you're and you're hurrying too and there's something about you know really intense concentration and you're kind of lead, your body's kind of tensed up and you're yeah. focusing for hours on end and it's just a little stressful although I absolutely love it like I don't mind doing it. I charge a little bit more for it in person now. Mm -hmm. Um but they're not formal portraits they're uh very spontaneous yeah um you know um and but there's nothing absolutely nothing like it i would recommend i've had a lot of artists come up to me and say i can't believe you're doing this in public you know like mm -hmm. 
you know, putting yourself out there and having somebody sit there while you do their portrait. And, and they said, I'd love to learn how to do this. And I said, well, just set up a, you know, do them for free, you know, set, yeah. set them up and, you know, set up a little booth and do it. And I highly recommend it for anybody who's interested in that kind of thing. Yeah. It takes a little bit of bravery though, to put yourself on. online workshop at ESSA and it is starting next week. Monday, yes. Wednesday, and Friday, the 17th, 19th, and 21st. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and can you show me a couple of, uh, and I don't know if you can, because I know you're using your hand for your phone. Um, is it possible to show me a couple examples of, of sure. what you might be working on? You bet. Yeah. Um, okay. So just uh, quickly. Um, so the workshop, yeah, it's a portrait workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I've been very inspired by Robert Henry. So uh, I talked to Julie uh, Hop down there about this, um, you know, this would be a good idea. And she kind of liked the idea because she's kind of a Henry fan also. Yeah. And um, we thought, you know, how about, do, how about using uh, Robert Henry as sort of a inspiration for the workshop? And so uh, what I think is great about him and thinking about him is um, he did a lot of children's portraits off the coast of Ireland to understand. Mm -hmm. um, and he had a very direct way of working. It's not super uh, academic per se. And um, I, I think it makes it sort of an accessible to students. And so uh, I love that idea. I love things that are um, attainable and accessible. And that's what I want to do in the workshop. And that's what I try to do is, is kind of make things not so intimidating for people. Because art shouldn't be intimidating, right? You should be, no. <laughs> you should enjoy it, and um, that's the whole idea. And so, um, so I kind of focusing on the children's portraits, but we will doing we'll be doing some uh, adults as well. Okay. Uh, and so here's a couple here. Let me pick out a couple. This one, this actually little portrait. Let me show you. Uh, I guess you can see that. Yeah. That's um, that's my son when he was about uh, eight years old, maybe. That was done a long time ago, but if I remember, I was actually in inspired by Robert Henry back then. Yeah. And uh, that's Andrew. Um, that's a, kind of a little more primitive. This one is recent. Um, this is Wolfie, Wolfgang. This is my grandson, my daughter Amanda's son. Oh. Her first son. She just had her third son. Oh my goodness! And that's Wolfgang. And um, that was definitely I, I, I mm. definitely tried actually to um, I just love it emulate a a, a Henry approach on that with the lighting and yeah. the brush. So I love his work. And then this is my granddaughter Nora. This mm -hmm. is Katie's daughter. And she took this photograph. And so I did this from a photograph. Um, it's kind of shiny there. Um, and so, again, kind of a, that's a little bit more developed. Yeah. Uh, a little bit more sort of blended color and whatnot. Yeah. Um, just recently, now this was a photo I just got off a, a, a little boy on the internet. And it was a black and white photo. Okay. I did, I did not get permission to use this uh, reference. Um, but it really doesn't look too close to the reference anyway. Um, and I, I just, I looked at a phone, you know, I was holding my phone in my hand and I turned it into color and I was just mm -hmm. really just using the lighting and the, um, sort of bone structure yeah, of him. And I put a cowboy hat on him. He didn't have a cowboy hat on. He had some sort of, he did have a hat, but it was like a goofy little beanie or something. <laughs> and so I put this ho cowboy hat on him and then I did another version of him. And this is a little bit more developed, and wow. that's him. Um, and that's one thing I want to do in the class is uh, kind of show how you can just start out with a, uh, maybe a reference, but then yeah. be a little more creative with it, and um, preferably actually start from a black and white reference and yeah. um, bring in some color. And we're going to do some experimental things with color, too. So it's not going to be really a color there is going to be a color palette that's recommended for the class, okay. but we're not going to really be trying to do perfect skin tones or anything. It'd be fun to actually to um, forget about skin tones and just do some different color approaches. Yeah. So we'll be having some fun with that. You know? That sounds great. Well, and it gives you something to do in the next online workshop. <laughs>
There you go. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Save the yeah, color. I, I, I hope this goes well. Uh, um, you know, I'm glad that the class size is going to be only six. And yeah. um, um, I understand you guys have had some good success with the classes and they've gone really well. We have, yeah. And uh, just knowing your, your teaching style, I think you're going to do great. I think the students are going to have a wonderful time. And I can't wait to awesome. see what develops, you know, what, what, uh, uh, what people end up creating during your class. It should be really interesting. Yeah, it's a brave new world. It'll it be, is. It'll be fun to see where all this goes, you know. Absolutely. Okay, Niall. Well, I have taken up plenty of your time, so I'm going to let you go. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us at ESSA here. And uh, we can't wait to uh, see your mug next week. All right. Well, I enjoyed it, Hilke. I appreciate the opportunity All to right. talk with you. It's good to see you. You too. Be well. And tell Kathy thanks for the uh, technical help. <laughs> oh, I sure will. Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon. Okay, thanks.